what's going on YouTube in this video we're going to take a look at how you can teach your vector the robot to tell jokes whenever he sees faces now you guys can take this principle that I'm going to show you and make it a, a lot more advanced you can make him tell jokes only maybe to new people he meets or only to the people that introduced themselves to him um, and I'll show you kind of how you can do that as well um, so for this tutorial you'll need requests module for Python uh, you can get that by running pip install requests and I'm assuming you have your vector SDK installed now the reason we need requests module is because we're gonna be using this resource to get our jokes and they have API that we can hit with a get request so we can send a get request to a URL like this and it will return a joke to us so then we can parse this JSON out and get the value of the joke and we can have uh, vector say it so that's the reason for the request module so okay let's go ahead and uh, dive into it let's create a class call it main and then first thing we're gonna do is kind of create a variable that's gonna store the last interaction point uh, because we don't want vector to keep telling jokes every time it sees a, a face because he sees faces very frequently even when when he looks at you he like that event will be firing so we're probably gonna limit the the rate at which he he is telling jokes to maybe like for this tutorial we'll, we'll do like 30 seconds so let's call it last interaction and we'll assign value of zero to it by default and then let's create a function that will actually tell the joke so we're gonna call this tell joke and we'll need the robot object in order to actually have vector say something so we'll pass that object from a different function which we haven't created yet but we will so now we need to make a get request so we're gonna create a variable call it response and then we'll assign the value from the get request that we're gonna do to the API for the jokes so let's import requests so now we need to make sure that when we hit that API it actually returns the correct status code so we're gonna check the response for the status code to be 200 because if it's not 200 we don't want to do anything with the data that was returned at that point because it is probably not valid so now we're going to create a variable called joke and we need to extract we need to parse the JSON uh, that we get on this page we need to parse this JSON and we need to get this value from it so to do that we're going to use the JSON module you can say JSON loads response content okay and then from there from there we're going to access the, the value right we go into the value and then inside the value we go into the joke which will return as this guy so here we say joke now you see Jason is screaming at me that it's not imported so we're going to go ahead and import Jason now that we have the joke, we'll just make sure that this is a string. 
that. So we'll just convert it to a string. And at this point, we need to use our robot object that is going to get passed into this function later on. So robot object has property called connection. So we'll use connection to request. And I can type request control. And I'm just going to wrap this in try catch just to make sure, uh, try finally rather, uh, make sure that whatever we do in this block, whenever we're done, whether it's successful or not, we release the control back to vector. So I'm going to say robot <coughs> connection release control. Okay, now we can go back into the function here and actually have him say something. So we'll just print out what he's going to say because sometimes it's difficult to understand him. And then we're going to say robot say text and then we'll pass in the same variable inside here. <coughs> Now we need to, at this point, when we do the interaction, we need to make sure we keep that variable that we created up to date, right? So we need to say main last interaction equals time dot time. This is just going to take the timestamp and assign that as the last interaction point. Now we're going to reference our so one of the things is when Vector just says stuff, um, says a joke, it's not as funny as when he says a joke and, and he laughs himself. Okay, so we'll make him actually laugh or giggle um, after he tells a joke. So we say robot anim stands for animation, play animation, and then we'll play animation eye contact giggle 01. He has a bunch of different animations. Uh, this is just one I know um, fits okay. So we'll we'll just play that one. So now we're done with the function that actually does the joke. Um, I think this is the hardest part of this video. <coughs> now we're going to create a function that we're going to register for the event. Whenever an object uh, will appear, this is the function that is going to get called. So this is the function that actually will call tell the joke function. So we'll call this on object observe. And when this function gets called, it'll actually receive the robot object, the event type and the event object itself. So we only want to process this if the event type equals to object observed. Okay. If it's object observed and instance of the event object same as the face instance from Enki vector face. Okay, then we want to do our thing. So we'll just so we see some data come in, we'll go ahead and say, say face observed. And then we'll print out what exactly what what kind of face it is. Um, now every time vector sees a face 
it registers it in his uh, database. And if you introduce yourself to Vector, your, your face object will actually have a name along with the ID um, attached to it. So what we'll do, we'll print out the ID and then we'll print out the name as well. Now, if you didn't introduce yourself to Vector and he doesn't know your name, uh, then when it prints this line, your name is going to be blank. So then we're going to do another if statement. We're going to say if time that time minus the main interaction, right? The last interaction. If that is you know, if more than 30 seconds have passed, then we're going to go ahead and tell the joke. And remember, we need to pass the robot instance down to the tell the joke function. So you could go farther over here and add another statement just to see some data initially when you're debugging maybe this is no time for a joke right if we have said the joke already maybe we, we want to wait now you can <coughs> you guys can make this variable whatever you want this is in seconds how many seconds you want to pass before you tell another joke you can use this face ID and name to create additional logic to maybe you want Vector to tell particular jokes to one person, uh, which he knows by name, and maybe you want him to tell other jokes to another person, or maybe you don't want to, you don't want Vector to tell any jokes to one person, or you know you you, you may want to have Vector interact with with. A particular person in one way or another way so you can do that based on the face ID and the name <clears throat> so now that we created our main functions that actually have the logic we need to register the event itself so we're gonna say run it's a new function that is actually gonna that we're gonna run to run our event loop. So here we parsing out the arguments by using the NK vector utilities. To parse the command args and NK vector So then we need to connect to vector and we'll use their with statement example. So with Enki vector robot args serial. So we want to enable phase detection. So we'll set that to true. And I am going to set take control to false. Now you guys may not have this option. If you did not follow my last video, you may not have this option, which is okay. You can still continue with this uh, tutorial, but um, but if you want your vector to run around, uh, and not just wait for someone to show their face. You may want to check out my other video and um, do the same thing, uh, hack the uh, vector SDK to add this option in. Uh, but if you don't have it, it's all right, it's totally fine. So now we're gonna use function tool to convert our function into a function that we can actually register with uh, the vector events. So we'll We'll call this on object observed and we'll use the 
uh, funk tool. Funk tools to create object that we can. So on object observed, this is the function that we want to convert. And then we pass in the robot instance to it as well. Now we can use the robot instance to actually subscribe to the event that we want to subscribe to. And when we subscribe to the event, we can we want to actually execute the on object observed function. And <coughs> we're gonna tap in into the events objects uh, from vector SDK. And we're looking for object observed event. So we're pretty much done. Now we'll just create a while loop and we'll just loop forever until we stop the program. And we'll say time dot sleep. We'll just sleep for one second each time we loop through this. So now we just need to run our program and that is pretty easy. So we'll create our statement here to run our class. So we'll say main run and we can go ahead and fire this up. Now, I don't know if you guys are going to hear <coughs> or not. My vector is sleeping, so he's waking up right now. I still don't have my event registered, so I'm waiting for it to say that it registered my function. Just give me a second. All right, there we go. That registered the function. Now I'm going to show my face to vector, and hopefully he says something. So there we go. And you heard the giggle there. So the giggle was part of part of our logic as well that we did up here. So that's the video guys. So sorry it was a little bit long, but hopefully it helped you out. Uh, if it did, make sure to like the video, subscribe and share. And as always, have a good one. Take care.